Hey, look at that! We finally got a trailer for Solo, a Star Wars story. Which really is about time, considering that the film is only a few months away. And while it doesn't really give us anything in the way of plot, or really any information of any sort of substance, we can already infer quite a few things. Including how this film may differ from Solo's previously established origins. So let's do what Screen Rant does best, and speculate the crap out of this thing. This is what Disney might change about Han Solo's origins. And if you enjoy this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified when we upload fresh content. Now note that in that title I say things that might change. Might. As we haven't seen the full film yet, we can't say anything with 100% certainty, so take this with a grain of salt. Mm, this video might not age too well. So within the now non-canon expanded universe, Solo had quite the history before the events of A New Hope. In fact, there was an entire series of novels focused around a young Han Solo, so there's a lot of information about his early life. For instance, we know that he was born on a planet of Corellia, which is a detail that I honestly can't see Disney changing for the film. Because why change it? Why would it even matter? Now in the trailer, we do hear Solo talk about how he spent his youth running scams and just being a general criminal. This does seem to go hand in hand with his past from the EU. But one difference we may see is what happened after his juvenile delinquency ended when he joined the Imperials. Yeah, that actually happened. See, in the novel, Solo made his way up the chain in the Imperial Navy, eventually becoming a lieutenant. However, one day he was ordered to kill an insubordinate Wookiee slave who was trying to escape with a ship full of children. That Wookiee? Chewbacca. That's actually how they met, where Chewie swore his life debt to him, as Solo obviously didn't kill him, disobeying direct orders. This led to him leaving the Empire, instead turning back to a life of criminal activity to make his way in the galaxy. In the trailer, however, Solo's voiceover makes us believe that he won't make it that far. He mentions being kicked out of the Flight Academy because he quote unquote, had a mind of his own. Which probably means he did some crazy stuff or just didn't follow instructions. As you would expect from a scoundrel. This implies that he didn't even make it through training, meaning that he never made it to the rank of lieutenant. That's if the academy he is referring to is even the Imperial Academy, by the way. It could be something else entirely. But either way, it could have a major impact upon how Solo and Chewie meet in the first place. All that we know 100% for sure from canon sources is that Chewie owes him a life debt. So as long as Solo saves him early on in their relationship, that whole situation could completely change. Also, there's the question of Solo's mentor figure. In the film, it appears as though Woody Harrelson's Beckett is going to fill that role, perhaps bringing the younger Solo into the smuggler lifestyle and setting off the events of the film. Whereas in the expanded universe, the closest analog is probably a character by the name of Alexander Badur, an officer who fought for the Republic in the Clone Wars and later as part of the Galactic Empire. Solo served under him while in the military and actually learned pretty much all he knows about flying from him. And Badur actually saved Solo and Chewbacca later on in life during one of their failed Kessel runs. And here, yet again, a major difference seems to lie with Solo's military career, or lack thereof in the film. And this difference in mentor may ultimately affect the way that he meets his other good friend, Lando Calrissian. See, in the expanded universe, Lando and Han first meet up after Lando seeks Han out, hoping to learn to fly from him. He finds the smuggler being held up at gunpoint by Boba Fett and saves his life. The two would go on to have a lasting friendship even after Solo won the Millennium Falcon from Lando in a game of Sabacc. The trailer, however, seems to hint that Lando is yet another member of the crew that Beckett recruits, which may lead to them being friends by the end of the film, but it's still quite different. So yeah, there are a few potential differences in Solo's origin between the film and the expanded universe. But what do you think of all this? Are you sad to see Disney potentially make these changes? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're watching this on Facebook, click the link to be taken to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one. And thanks for watching.